everybody. This is Brad Nessler. With me, as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. No complaints about the weather tonight as we see nothing but stars in this contest between the USC Trojans and the Buffaloes of Colorado. This bowl game has all the makings of a great one. Should be a lot of fun. And here come the Buffaloes. Kirk, how do you see this one? This really looks like a deadlock. This could go to either team. USC knows all too well about playmakers as they have one of their own at the running back position. This guy's got way too much talent to be contained. Lee, I think he'll lead them to a close victory. I picked my winner this morning. Here we go. Yo, I'm picking Southern Cal. They're just too good. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Kicks it off. Number 26 fields it in the end zone. Down the sideline. He made a good cut up field, got a few blocks, and they were able to come up with a decent return. That looked like a breakdown in kickoff coverage. Instead of staying in their lanes, they all started spring to the football. That's exactly what happened. You can't do that. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. Colorado comes to the line with three wide. They go with a toss, and he's going to throw to the quarterback. He lost the ball. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 44. Number 14 lines up with five wide out. Drops back to pass. He steps up across the middle. Got it to the senior. The wide out made a good looking grab there. You're right. And the quarterback threw it as soon as he saw he had that extra step. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball right around midfield. Number 14 lines up in the shotgun. Back to pass. Look, steps up. Over the middle. It's dropped. I know the pass was fired pretty hard, but you still have to catch it. That's right. The only reason he's out there is to catch the football. The Buffs are lining up to punt it away. Number 29 boots it way up there. Number 29 calls for the fair catch. And they make the fair catch at the nine yard line. This is a great opportunity here for the offense to try to get an early lead on this first drive. Down there on the field at linebacker, we've got one special player. He's the heart and soul of this defense, and they're going to need him today more than ever as they go up against a very talented running back. If there's anyone who can bring the wood to this running back, then it's got to be this linebacker. That's right. He's a tough one. There should be some really good collisions in this game. He's got his tight end. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. First and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. USC comes out with an eye formation. On the ground, up the middle. Makes a move. He might have a chance. Missed tackle. The 50. They'll bring him down. That was a huge lift. Brad, you're right. A run like that can really get the momentum rolling. Hey. 
It's first and ten. Ball on the 41. 41 yard line. One man backfield. They get it out there on the top. And they hit him in the backfield. That didn't go anywhere. Yeah, I'll tell you why. They were coming with a heavy blitz, and guys were shooting through the line right into the backfield. That play didn't have a chance. Look at how dominant they've been on defense. Well, I'll tell you, as an offense, you've been pretty successful if you can even sniff the end zone against these guys. Whoa, they're one of the best in the country. Just look at those numbers. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. Dropped by the wideouts. Number 44 on the cover. Third and 15 coming up, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. Six DBs in the lineup. He drops back. He steps up, looking. Comes across the middle, and he can't hang on to it. This incompletion is credited to the wideouts. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. Trojan line up the punt. He punts this one high in the air. Number five signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 12 yard line. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. They'll go to work at the 12. Colorado comes out with two tight ends. Pull back straight ahead. He jukes. And he's taken down. They pick up a good six yards there. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 18. The Buffs go with the eye formation. The big guy with room to run. Brought down. He got a really nice gain on that run. I'm going to tell you, I think the defense needs to make some adjustments. Maybe move eight or nine guys into the box. Coach, maybe they can slow this running game down. You're right, Kirk. Heck, I could run through those holes. The Buffalo come out in a two tight end set. Up the middle with a fullback. And he has room to run there. Tackle. So they give it to the fullback, and he's able to get him eight on the carry. It's second down and two to go. Ball on their own 41. Colorado goes with the ace set here. And he's going to lose yards on this one. Give this linebacker a big play in that stat column for an excellent tackle there. Third down and four coming up on this one. This is the fifth play of this drive. Two tight ends here. Setting up the play action. Wants to throw. Outside. Breaks one. And he's taken down. It's first and ten, and this is the sixth play of the drive. The Buck line up with three receivers bunch. Looks across the middle. Nice pass, just wasn't caught. And when you're a tight end, you usually don't get too many passes thrown your way. So you got to catch the easy ones. So it's second and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. Colorado comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. They go with a pitch to the right. Got some open field. He's hit and got away, and they make the stop. He's not your ordinary fullback. This guy can move. You bet he can. I like this kid. He's a heck of a football player. They need to get him some more carries. Hey. 
First and ten. And this is the eighth play of the drive. The Buffs come out in the ace formation. They go with a toss. And they got him for a loss. They didn't let him get anything going on that play. No, they didn't. Heck, they didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. The Buffalo line up with two tight ends. On the ground, left side. Gets a tackler. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. No place to go that time, and the offense loses a yard or two. Nice job of plugging up all the gaps and the possible cutback lanes by the defense. Third and 12. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. Two tight ends here. Drops back to pass. He's looking. Throws to the middle. And it's incomplete. There is no excuse for dropping a pass. Yeah, that ball had some heat on it. I don't care. Drop passes are inexcusable. Lines up for a long field goal, and I'm not sure he's got the power to make this one. He gets it up, and he hooked it left. They'll start this drive at the 36-yard line. USC sets up in the eye. Throws. Complete. And down he goes. Nowhere to go on that play action pass completion. Second and nine. Ball on their own 37. Number 11 with three wide receivers. He drops back, looking. He passes it. He has him on the fly. And he's tackled. That was a big time play and a new set of downs. I think the defense might have been thinking run there, Coach. Well, I don't blame him. It's pretty common to see a run on first and second down, but this offense is keeping them guessing. the end of the first quarter and we've got a tie ball game. Let's see if they can take this one in for six. Here's the option. Touchdown, USC! Great play call there, Coach. Hey, not much you can do there on defense. When they run the option near the goal line like this, you have to guess who's going to get the ball. Guess again, my friends. The quarterback wasn't giving it up there. tax on the extra point. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. He kicks it. 
Number one fields it in the end zone. A missed field goal was the result of the last drive. We'll have to see if they can come through with something this possession. They'll take over at the 20-yard line. The Buffs go with the I formation. Back to pass. The throw has it to the senior. They'll bring him down. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 30. The Buffalo come out in the ace formation. They'll give it off here. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Boy, he is one big guy down there on that defensive line. Oh, man, the big fella's a hoss. I saw him last night at the hotel, and he had three bags of food going up to his room. Yo, it looks like he's got a big old bag hanging over his belt right now. The Buffs line up in an eye formation. Pull back straight ahead. Brought down. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Got an inadvertent face mask on the defense. Still thought we down. might see a personal foul there, but the referee thought differently. He didn't try to rip his helmet off, so it's only going to be a five-yarder. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 34-yard line. The Buffalo come out in the ace formation. They'll go with the fullback, and he's taken down. Two-yard pickup. Third and four. This is the fifth play of this drive. They line up in the jumbo set. Tries to juke. And they make the stop. And the run is good for the first. Yep, this is nothing new if you follow this team. They like to run the ball in these kind of situations. Terrific third down play call there. It's first and ten, and this is the sixth play of the drive. Single set backfield. Which is right. And he throws it to his quarterback. Bubbles the ball. Number 45 recovers a loose ball. What a play. The linebacker comes up with a fumble. That was a nice play. Couldn't have done better myself, you guys. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. The Trojans line up with two tight ends. They get it out there on the top. And he's going to lose yards on this one. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. That guy's so big, Kirk, he doesn't plug up holes. He plugs up the whole line down there. Yo. Second and long. Ball on the 39. <laughs> USC sets up with four receivers. Looks. Throws it out there. Got it to his receiver. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Well, it doesn't look like it's too serious, guys, but you never know. Sometimes those small injuries turn into seizing-ending ones. It's third down and nine to go. Ball in the 32. Number 11 is the impact player, and he's feeling it right now. The 10, and they tackle him. That play looks a little familiar, guys. Yeah, this looks a little familiar because it's the same pass play as the one before it. They're able to hook up and almost break at that time. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Their last red zone trip resulted in a touchdown. I don't expect this one to be any different. I like it. 
Give the ball to the big fella, and the big boss makes his way into the end zone. When this guy starts wobbling, you better get out of his way, or he's going to leave cleat marks on your chest. So under three minutes to go in the second quarter, and the score, USC 14, Colorado nothing. USC is ready to kick it away. Number one and number 26 set to return. Here's the kick. Number 26 fields it in the end zone. So the offense comes out after their last drive, had the ball end up in the defense's hands by way of a fumble. They'll set up shop at the 19-yard line. The Buffs come out in a two-tight end set. On the ground, right side. And he's tackled. So at the most, he gains a few inches. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 19. Two tight ends here. They go with a toss. Tackle. Gain of two. USC takes a timeout. Third and eight. Ball on their own 21. They line up in an eye. Drops back to pass. Throws this one out to the left. Got his man. Loose football. And the defense is on it. And this turnover is certainly not what they were hoping for. The rich get richer, but let's not write them off just yet. It's still early, but they can't afford to turn the ball over and let this thing get out of hand. Get the ball here at the 34. Setting up the play action. Throws it to the outside. Oh, he missed an easy catch. Whoa, not too many passes are gimmies like that one. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 34. High formation here. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. A little juke. He's hit and got away. Look at the power. Somebody tackle him. The 10. And he's in the end zone. Touchdown. Unbelievable. That guy's one of the fastest we've seen all year. Oh, just a blazer. You can't teach that kind of running. That is just pure speed.
And he tacks on the extra point. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. Number one, fields it in the end zone. So the offense comes out after their last drive, had the ball end up in the defense's hands by way of a fumble. They'll go to work at the 20. They come out with a big set. They'll bring him down. Colorado calls a timeout. Three. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 22-yard line. Three. Two tight ends set. Hold on. Hold on. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. It's deflected. Heads up play to bat it down. Yeah, and if you can't get to the quarterback or intercept the pass, the next best thing is to get a hand up. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on their own 22. The Buffs come out in the ace formation. He drops back. Steps up. And down he goes. USC takes a timeout. punt this one away. Number 29 gets it off. And this one's going to go out of bounds at the 42-yard line. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. They'll start this drive at the 39. USC comes to the line with three wide. They'll throw on first down. Steps up in the pocket. He's going right. Got it. And he's tackled. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Their last trip down here was a success. Let's see if this one will result in another touchdown. The running back gets two on the carry. A minute left in the half. He steps up, throws this one out to the right. Couldn't haul it in. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. Third and eight. Ball on the 14-yard line. They come out in a nickel. Nice play fake. He's looking. Comes across the middle. Got his man. Touchdown. And the big lead just got bigger, folks. I've seen some amazing comebacks in my day, but I'm not too confident that I'm going to see one today. I could be wrong, you guys, but I just don't see it happen. I mean, these guys aren't just scoring. They're pitching a shutout, too.
and he hits the PAT. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. Kicks it off. Number 26 fields it at the one. The offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession. Going three and out. They'll set up shot at the 19. Colorado comes out with an eye formation. Spins upfield, and they hit him in the backfield. The big fella couldn't get any momentum going. It's tough to get this guy down in the backfield. He's always falling forward. But on that one, they hit him before he could get his weight going forward. Second down, and they got 15 for the first down. Ball on their own 14. The Buffs come out in a bunch formation. They go with a toss. And he's going to lose yards on this one. How about that stop? I uh, hear the linebacker uses his speed to come up with a huge stop behind the line of scrimmage. Third down and what they didn't want to get in. Ball on their own 12. After one half of play, this one is not even close. Our score, USC 28, Colorado nothing. And the teams are lined up to start the second half. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Number five fields it in the end zone. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. The playmaker on this defense is the linebacker. But until he shows up, they'll continue to play from behind. Yeah, I was expecting to hear his name called a lot more on tackles in the first half. Yeah. Me too, Kirk. All week we've heard of how this kid flies to the ball and is in on every play. But we haven't seen that today. Let's it go. Number five picks it off. Lee, do you think they'll be able to capitalize on the uh, interception? I don't know. I don't think it's going to make much difference. They've dug themselves in a pretty big hole. take over at the 21. Yeah. The Buffs come out in the ace formation. Hold on. Hold on. They'll throw on first down. Looking, throws it to the outside. The pass was right there, just couldn't be controlled. This tied in some more passes in practice. He needs all the help he can get. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 21. Colorado comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Drops back to pass. He lets it go. Off his hands, incomplete. The halfback decided to let that one bounce off his hands. That wasn't his best effort. Third and 10. Ball on their own 21. Come out in a bunch of formation. Steps up, looks across the middle, and it's the tight end. Brought down. 
Good job of attacking the coverage to keep the drive alive. That was a great looking pass to move the sticks on third down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 42. Lines up in a bunch formation. Hot, hot, hot. And straight ahead we go with a fullback. He jukes it. Tackle. The big fella tucked it away and reeled off a nice looking nine yard run. Second and one coming up here. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Bucks go with the I formation. Play action, throws a lob pass out to the right, and it's caught. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That's a two-yard loss. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. The Buffalo come out in the ace formation. carry by the fullback. They send out the punting unit. Plenty of hang time on this one. Number 29 calls for the fair catch. And they'll down it at the seven. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll go to work at the seven-yard line. USC goes with the ace set here. Hand off up the middle. A little shake and bake move. And he's tackled. Three-yard gain by the running back. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 10. The Trojans come out with split backs. Another run. And they make the stop. They get a decent gain on that play. The reason why this play worked is because they sold the defense into thinking they were going one way, and then they went the other way. It's first and 10, ball on the 17-yard line. Number five wants the ball. We'll see if they give it to him. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Dead ball. Won't start on the offense. Five-yard penalty. Still a lack of concentration will push the offense back. Yep, the kid was in a hurry to block someone. You got to control that. First and 15 now. Ball on the 12. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He's on the run. They'll bring him down. Excellent run that time, but it still won't be enough to move the chains. Second and less than a yard. Ball on the 27-yard line. Number five is feeling it, and he wants the football in his hands. And he stopped behind the line. A big loss after they stopped the run. <laughs> Not much you can say there. The defense just shot in and blew up that run. It's third down and six to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. High formation here. He drops back, steps up in the pocket, throws to the middle, got it to his receiver. Tackle. Three. 
First and ten. Ball on the 41. USC comes out with two tight ends. Juku. And that tackle's going to save them six. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. When you break one like that, you got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. It's first and ten, and this is the seventh play of the current drive. The Trojans line up with four wideouts. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. Complete. And he's taken down. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. First and ten. This is the eighth play of this drive. Pro formation here. Here's the draw. Makes a move. And down he goes. That's a nice six-yard gain. Great. It's second down and four to go. Ball, Ball on the 26. USC lines up in a double tight set. Which is right. He'll dump this one off. He has some room. Caught. Brought down. So we get to see his arm, and he gets it out there for a first down off the trick play. As we go to the final quarter of play, this one is almost wrapped up. Our score here, USC 28, Colorado nothing. First and 10, ball on the 18. They come out with three wide receivers. They'll throw on first down. He's going left, and he dropped it. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. It's second down and 10 to go. This is the 11th play of this drive. One man backfield. Pitch left. They'll drop him for a loss. Well, folks, we just saw what can happen if you don't pick up all your blocks. Man, that was an ugly nightmare from the beginning. The offense faces another third down here as they line up. USC in a four-wide set. Drops back to pass. He steps up. He's looking. Finds his receiver. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down. So the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. Number 19 lines up for the field goal. It's up. And he got it. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. this one off and he got all of this one great kick number 26 fields it in the end zone you gotta know where you are on the field there was no reason to run that one out just catch it and take a knee it's the only way to guarantee that your offense will start on the 20. it's 
It's first and ten. Ball on their own 14. Colorado sets up in the eye. They're on a counter. Tackle. He plows ahead for a two-yard gain. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 16. Ace backfield. Rolls to the right. Here's the long ball, left side. And it's incomplete. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 16-yard line. The Bucks come out of the ace formation. He drops back, looking, throws short. Someone got a hand on it. Well, the defense stood tall there. Well, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. The Buffalo are lining up to punt it away. Number 29 punts it, and it's a good one. Number 22 fields it at the 39. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. Get the ball here at the 40. First and 10. Instead of running up the score, they put the backup quarterback into the game. He jukes. And down he goes. They'll get six yards. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 46. High formation here. Nice run there to move the sticks and eat up more of that clock. First and ten. Ball on the 48. The defense will stack the line of scrimmage. About the job of this offensive line, guys. Boy, the hog mollies up front are demoralizing the defense. It's tough when you're tired. You're losing. You're being dominated physically. I don't know how long they can keep this up. It's first and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. The Trojans come to the line with their jumbo package. Inside handoff. He jukes it. Tackle. And they're going to play keep away and work this clock. Second and nine coming up here. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. the stop and they continue to pound it out on the ground tick 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 continue to melt that clock they're down in seven this is the sixth play of this drive USC comes out with an eye formation He's going to be 
sack for a loss. Colorado calls a timeout. like they're going to try for the long field goal. The kick is up. It's got the distance. No good. He missed it to the right. They'll start this drive at the 33. The Buffs line up in an eye formation. Side give. And he's tackled. Colorado takes a timeout. Timeout called by the offense. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 34 yard line. Colorado sets up in the eye. They go with a toss. And he throws it to his quarterback. So they pick up a couple on the gadget play, but we usually see those plays go for bigger gains than that. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. High formation here. Wants to throw outside. Got it to him on the run. Brought down. First and ten. First Ball on the 42-yard line. line. Number 14 lines up with five wideouts. Looks, throws it to the outside. Couldn't haul it in. Drop pass. That'll drive the coach crazy. That'll drive the quarterback crazy. And that'll drive the fans crazy. Well, I'm sure he'll get an earful when he gets to the sideline. You bet he will. Bunch formation. They go with the run, and he's going to lose yards on this one. The defensive end was the victor on that play as he bolted in to tackle him for a loss. And he was able to do that because the interior linemen held their ground, leaving the runner with no options. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. This one's in the books, folks. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? I can't say enough about this performance. USC looked like a team on a mission to destroy anything and everything that got in their way. Brad, this is a really good-looking football team. The fine folks at EA Sports, thank you for tuning in to this contest of NCAA Football 2006. The final score, USC 31, Colorado nothing. This is Brad Nessler for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit saying so long.